Okay, here we go again. This is May uh, May 5th, 2011. This is the photo that I thought I shot the other day, but I guess I didn't have the camera running. So uh, you can see I've got the top pushed way up now because the tomatoes are getting so tall in there. And uh, I'll get a little bit closer here. This is the uh, hydroponic garden, and right now the unit happens to be running. I have it running 15 minutes on and 15 minutes off, 24-7 a day, and uh, using about 5 gallons of water a day yet now. As I said before, the water comes up this pipe here and goes into this 4-inch pipe up there, and uh, you can see it's uh, kind of an insulated pipe. It's not just your regular PVC, so if you get it, get the one with the black on the inside, it. Uh, uh, protects it from the heat a little bit more. And then this is the pipe that comes back and drains back into the tank so it keeps circulating. With all the evaporation though and transpiration you have to keep watching the uh, pH because it will climb with the evaporation of the water. Also the TDS uh, climbs quite a bit. So uh, that's one of the tomato plants right there. You can see the big blossoms on them there now and the stalk is really really thick and heavy. I have them uh, propped up against the sides. You can probably see that I'm using a pipe insulation uh, like for either half inch or uh, three quarter inch pipe wrap and that works real good. And it, uh, then if you have to tie them or something you can tie to the uh, pipe wrap without having to get around it. Except on this one here of course when they got up that big uh, I had to tie it. I, you probably can't see the string back there, but it's it, there's a string running up there to the top just to kind of keep holding it. It's got a lot of blossoms on it, and the uh, squash down or the yeah the there's an acorn squash right in there someplace. Right there it is. I think you can see it, and there's several uh, uh, many blossoms on yet also, and there's another shot of it. Here's some basil. I've picked it off several times already. It's really good. Another tomato plant. And here's the other end of the uh, uh, hydroponic. The, that's the top pipe coming there. And then I got a three quarter inch PVC pipe hooking it to the other one here. You can see a couple of cucumbers starting to go to come on here. Uh, let's see, it's right there. That looks like them there. So I'll be getting some cucumbers shortly. Well, I don't know how shortly, but hopefully. And uh, that's the bottom row going down. I've got yellow beans right here. I just picked them yesterday. There's one in there yet, though. So must have missed it, but it's still not too late to pick it. So that's pretty much it. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Uh, it's made out of... Uh, what I do, I make mine out of one-inch... Uh, electrical conduit and then uh, I have the half inch conduit across for the bracing and then I put uh, some bracing down on the bottom down here and you can see I've got some tomato cages down there my uh, cukes are getting I mean, uh, my squash are getting down there right now so I'm I have to get something on there to hold them on the front side here I've got some chicken netting you can see and then I wrap that around the bottom and brought it up.